In this quick tutorial, we'll be discussing perpetuities and how they relate to annuities. Then we'll answer two questions related to the topic. Let's begin with a quick introduction. Perpetuities are annuities that continue paying forever. This feature makes perpetuities distinct from regular annuities, which have a finite duration. Now to give you an idea of which formula we use to calculate perpetuities, we start with the present value of an annuity formula shown on your screen here. And because these payments are perpetual, that is, they're happening forever, if we take the limit of the right side of this equation where n goes to infinity, think of an extremely large number if you will, and we substitute that value of n into here, regardless of what the interest is, this part of the equation will equal to zero. And just to show you what I mean, if I were to write down in parentheses one plus, and think of any interest that you want, let's say 10%, so 0.10, close parentheses, and we raise that to the power of negative, think of an extremely large number to represent infinity, we end up with zero. And so to calculate perpetuities, its present value, we use the formula PV is equal to PMT, which represents the payments, multiply two, and since this part has become zero, one over I. And that's the formula we'll be using to calculate perpetuities or the present value of perpetuities. Now in the real world, because perpetuities carry risks and uncertainties over an indefinite period, they're less common than regular fixed annuities. Just be mindful of that as we do these questions. The first question asks, find the present value of a perpetuity that pays $10 at the end of each year, assuming that the interest is 10%. Now, as you can tell, this is a straightforward question because the cash flow of $10 happening at the end of each year corresponds with the interest. This is annual interest of 10% and the cash flow is happening once every year. And so we don't have to do anything with I, we can simply change it into its decimal form and use the formula that we wrote up here. So the present value is equal to the payments of $10 at the end of each year, and that's being multiplied to one over 0 0.1. And if we multiply that out 10 times one over 0 0.1, we end up with $100. So that's the present value if we are to get $10 in perpetuity at the end of each year. Okay, that was an easy question. Let's move on to something a little more challenging. What is the present value of a perpetuity that pays $250 per month with the first payment three years from today? Assume that the interest is 11% and notice the annotation here, I and the superscript is one, which means that this is annual interest being compounded annually. Now, if you read this question again, it will be apparent that this is an example of deferred annuity. The payments aren't starting today, but they're starting three years from today. In addition to that, the cash flow frequency being monthly does not correspond to the interest given, which is annually. So that will need to be converted first. So let's create a timeline of what's happening. We'll say that today is time zero and the numbers along this horizontal plane are the months. Three years from today will represent 35 months. Be careful here, a lot of students will write down 36 months, but that means three years and one month from today. So 35 represents exactly three years from now. Before we do any calculations involving perpetuities, let's go ahead and change 11%, which is compounded annually, into something that is compounded monthly. And so what we do is we first change this into a decimal, which is 0 0.11. And we use the formula, we've done this in previous videos, of one plus the interest, which is currently compounded annually. So you divide it by one, you don't need to show that. And you raise it to the power of one, which you don't need to show either. And that equals to, if we want this to be monthly, we write down one plus the new interest that we're looking for will represent it as I. And because it's monthly, we divide it by 12 and we raise it to the power of 12. 
And all we have to do now is solve for i for our new interest. To do this, we combine those first. 1.11 is the sum. And if we're looking for i, we raise both sides to the 12th root. So I have the 12th root of 1.11. And that cancels out the exponent of 12 on the right side, leaving us with 1 plus i over 12. We bring over that 1 and multiply both sides by a factor of 12, giving us the following expression. OK, now we can put this into our calculator. 12 times the 12th root of that number, minus 1. And our new interest rate, which we'll be using moving forward, is 0 0.104815. So here's what I'm going to do moving forward. I'm going to find out the present value at 35 months. And once I find the present value at 35 months, I will discount it back 35 periods to find out what it is today, the present value today. So if I find the present value of the perpetuity at 35 months, I'll use the formula PMT times 1 over I. Our payments are 250. 1 over, and we'll take this value of 0 0.104815, and we'll divide that by 12, because there are 12 periods in one year, 12 months. So I have 250 times 1 over 0 0.104815 divided by 12. And you can put that in parentheses as well. And we end up with 28,621.86. So that right there is the present value at 35 months. Now we need to discount this back. And we can do that by using the future value formula. Future value is equal to the present value, PV, and in parentheses, 1 plus i raised to the power of n. Now the future value, 35 periods from today, is 28621.86. And it actually helps to keep all those decimal places. So 85756. When you're doing the calculation, it is a good idea not to round until the very end. So I'll write those numbers down. The present value is what we're looking for. That is today. 1 plus, and we'll use the same interest as before. So this number divided by 12. And if we're discounting this back to 0, then n should be 35. That's why this number is very critical that you choose it correctly at the beginning. And so we divide both sides by that factor, giving us this expression. And that is equal to PV. So let's use our calculator one last time. We'll take the number on our screen, divide it by 1 plus and in parentheses, 0 0.104815 divided by 12. Close, raise to the power of 35. And we end up with 21,110.86. So that represents the present value today. If we are to receive $250 per month, three years from today, if you have any further questions, feel free to use the comment section or use our website at biology-forms.com. Thanks for watching.